lovers, it is G-Swizz here and I'm here today to do my very first Bookish Box unboxing. <laughs> If you don't know, this is a bookish subscription service that's becoming pretty popular as of recently. I can't necessarily jump onto the Fairy Loot or Illumicrate subscriptions, those ones being the ones that are very well sought after, but I think the bookish box is slowly catching up to them, and unlike Fairy Loot and Illumicrate, these guys are a US-based subscription service, so the conversion rate, a little bit cheaper for me. <laughs> this being said, I have been really looking forward to subscribe to them because they have amazing customized I have purchased many of their special editions in the past and yeah, there are a lot that I'm still waiting on But some that I've come like my Harbinger series by Jennifer L. Armachild and just a few other little knickknacks I've got some of their candles on my shelf But this is the first subscription box that I've received from them and this is what's gonna happen on my channel You guys are gonna see a monthly unboxing from me I'm just gonna like turn down the brightness because you guys might be blinded by <laughs> the brightness of my box I am looking to upgrade to the adult box, but right now I am currently a subscription Subscribe to the young adult service and this is the box for July and the reason why I have the box for July is because it was delayed by a month due to the horrible supply chain that's happening right now I'm gonna try not to cut myself there we go this looks like a very felty oh I wonder if every month the book in the box comes in this sleeve if so that's really cool see that fairy loot and Illumicrate have their own little sleeves I actually really like this book sleeve from the bookish box I don't know if this is a monthly occurrence but if it is I wouldn't be mad I'm gonna save the book for last. Let's see if I can find the spoilery card first. I've got the spoilery card here. This box's theme is high stakes. The cool thing about the bookish box is that they actually tell you what the book is before you buy it. And that's really cool because that actually encouraged me to buy the box considering I was going to buy the book to begin with. On this card, it shows that they've got a playlist that goes with this month's box, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna keep the spoilery card with me. I'll go into detail about what I see in here. We've got some green fuzzies, but the cool thing about this is that there are not too many green fuzzies. Not enough to make an afro, probably enough to make a mustache. Oh no, okay, I thought that this was like an art print, and yes, it is an art print. I am a tad confused. Okay, never mind. There are literally two spoiler cards. So there's this item that is circulating around the book community, and even the subscriber page for the bookish box. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy about it. This sleeve I was really excited for. I remember someone on the Facebook page saying that they use it as a book sleeve, and I'm thinking, it's literally a pouch. How could you use it as a book sleeve? But now that I see how huge it is, I can definitely see why they're using it as a book sleeve. The item I'm referring to is this really cool Jude and Cardin print on a pouch. Look at this pouch. Okay, I'm just gonna try out the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue in here, the UK edition. Oh my goodness, it fits. That is so cool! I recall someone on the Facebook page saying that one of their younger family members were terrified when they saw this print. <laughs> Which makes sense. Like, if you're looking at Jude and Cardin without context, <laughs> see, like, I only just recently read The Cruel Prince and I recently enjoyed it, and I recently came to ship Jude and Cardin, but any outsider would view them as a very violent couple, considering that Jude's always holding a knife to Cardin. But I love this print so much. People are willing to pay really good money for this pouch. So I'm just gonna hold on to it with my life. <laughs> Who is the artist of this print again? It's Morgan A. Zero Anagrom on Twitter. Twitter. Their art, so good. I think they did some of the Fairy Loot Tarot cards as well, the Kingdom of, of Wicked ones, and oh my goodness, those look absolutely adorable. But the fact that we got a customized print from them on a pouch, I'm so thankful. I'm already loving this box. I see a bookmark here. Oh, is that Fable? I'm gonna try to focus in for you guys to see that. Artwork by Nicole Deal showcasing Fable. Oh, okay. No, it actually matches another item in this box, which I believe is the candle of the box. I am so happy that we got a bookish candle. Guys, I am starting to collect bookish candles. I'm working from home at the moment, and sometimes when I just need therapy, I just go to my bookish candles, and that's my aromatherapy for the day. Fable, ocean breeze, and sweet melon. Oh my goodness, guys. Melon is like one of my favorite scents, so let's smell this. Oh my goodness. It was literally both scents, but in one and it works. I love how the candle and the bookmark match each other. Fable wasn't necessarily my favorite book series. I might reread it in the future, but I don't see myself rereading it anytime soon. I found it to be okay, and I found it to be very adventurous, and I did like the character of Fable. I'm actually very honored that I've received a bookmark and a candle based on Fable. What is next in the box? There is uh, an extra item that I didn't expect. This looks like a small pocket journal. I'm gonna take it out of its plastic. Ooh, I like the gold and green. 
I love gold and green together, green and gold, the Aussie colors. It says, a reader lives a thousand lives. That's from something, right? A Game of Thrones inspired TBR travel notebook. And the artwork was done by Book Babe Design. This is really cool. I have a reading journal that I think I purchased at the beginning of 2019. I wanted to keep track of it, but there were just too many prompts and too many reviews that I had to write or too much space I had to take up, but I felt like I wasn't doing enough, so I just stopped. Whereas this is really cool because I can literally mark it on my desk, like maybe after I finish work or before I start work in the morning. You can put your star rating, your review, and your favorite quote, and then the title and the author. It is so simplistic, and I like it. I really like the design of this because there are so many reading journals that are for people who journal. I don't journal. I'm really bad at journaling. I'm really happy that I received something like this that I could potentially use and that I see myself using. I find this very practical. Looks like we have a necklace here. It's a silver necklace. Oh, pretty long chain. I wonder if I could just stick it over my head. <laughs> Sticking it over my head with the paper. My goodness. I don't even know what this is from, but I'm claiming it already. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's Lore by Alexandra Bracken inspired. Lore is one of our top reads of this year and we couldn't pass up the opportunity to include this Medusa head necklace for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is Medusa. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's Medusa's head. I actually really like this. I don't see myself reading Lore because I've actually already spoiled myself for the book. I've heard very mixed reviews. That being said, I am a big Medusa fan. I actually don't mind having this item. I find it pretty cool, so I can pretty much use it for anything. I can say it's lore inspired, or I can just say it's Medusa inspired. I believe we have one more item. It is the monthly pin. Just like I am starting to collect candles, I am also starting to collect pins. It says that it was designed by Just Elf It. Just Shelf It? Just Elf It? All right, inspired by these violent delights. Oh my goodness, it's Juliet. Focus camera, focus. Focus on the pin so you guys can see. Look at that, that is so cool. It's even got the color palette of the actual book. Wow. I even love. It's got the scarlet gang flowers and then it's got the white flowers. The 1920s outfit, all of it. It's just absolutely perfect. I couldn't be more happy with this pin. And now we come to the book, which is in the sleeve here. The book for this month is These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. Now, I've heard really good things about this book and I put it on my TBR way before I knew that this was going to be a book pick of the month. I saw the cover and then I found out the premise and I was absolutely intrigued. Also, Lexi Ryan actually got her start in writing romance novels, but not young adult romance novels. I believe that this is her first young adult. She writes a lot of steamy romance. I've seen her catalog. I've been interested, but at the very same time, this is like the fantasy romance that I've been looking to read. And I want to give her writing a try through this and see if I want to read any more of her books in the future. These Hollow Vows, absolutely beautiful cover itself. The end pages are absolutely gorgeous, but I found out that, oh, okay, that's gorgeous. We will get to that in a second, but I found out that the reversible dust jacket is this. I honestly don't know how to display it guys because this is absolutely beautiful. So the quote on the back says magic is life, life is magic and then there's some spine art and then there's some art of the main character. Before I put that back on I just want to show you guys the amazing customization that the bookish box did. Unfortunately there are no custom sprayed pages or stenciled edges. I believe that this is one of their last books that they are not customizing their pages. I think going forward they're going to start customizing their pages as per their most recent announcement. I don't remember whether they're gonna start from October or September, but they are gonna start at some point. That being said, this is absolutely gorgeous and I love this customization so much. I love that there's some custom art in there, which is really cool. Oh yes, no wonder it's so familiar. It's Emily Snaith art. I love Emily Snaith's art. I have a few of her art prints on my wall. There is the author's signature. You can see that this is not digitally signed. This is personally signed. I am just so happy about this. Wow, what an experience, guys. The verdict. Which item is my favorite in the box? This is actually really hard. I'd have to say that the Jude and Cardin pouch is absolutely stunning. I wouldn't have thought of use for it until I saw someone talk about how they use it as a book sleeve. So I think I'm gonna be using this as a book sleeve going forward. I think the decision has gotta be the pouch and a close second is gonna be the candle because the candle smells absolutely delicious. I have to say, buying an international bookish box was absolutely worth it in this instance because all the items I 
I can see myself using in the future. So I guess that's gonna be it for this unboxing today, book lovers. I hope you enjoyed this little video on my channel. I enjoyed making it. I mean, I love getting surprised. And I'm very much looking forward to making more of these in the future. If you happen to enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already joined the amazing community of book lovers. And also I have social medias. I'm at Books on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm also at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash gswizzle. And finally, I'm at TikTok. I am at gswizzle on TikTok if you want to follow me for some bookish content there. I love you, book lovers, and I will see you later. Peace.